That's amazing. Yeah. Good. I feel like that could become a, become a passage just by closing the leg and closing the door a little. Doesn't need to change his frame. Good. Add a girl. Add a girl. Yeah. And right there, I'd almost think a little Ron Bear in that for a second. And I'm only saying that because he's, thro he's throwing his haunches. No, the other way. Throwing his haunches a little too much to the inside. Yeah. And have a beautiful pee off too, huh? And out. Don't stay there forever. Work on transitions. Work on the transitions. That just like Carolyn. Just now again, a little couple half steps. Again, pee off. It, yeah, but use, don't rely on the whip. Yeah, and out, 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 out. Yeah, even if he has a mistake, and back in right now. Back in right now. Yeah, just rock him back, good. Now back out right now. It's gonna make him hotter, but you see where his haunches keep wanting to go? So in between, put his haunches a little to the left. Don't do it there, yeah, yeah. That's it. And out. And out. Contact. You shouldn't feel like you have to throw. You can sit a little deeper. Yeah? Yeah, that's why his haunches are going a little bit too much to the right, as you're not enough into the left contact. Yeah. That's it, Pia. Good job. And out. Left rein out. That was better. He's got to connect on that left side. Good. Good, Lord. Good. Good, if you want to let him stretch a little for that. So, Good. Lauren, uh, what I love what Deb did, and we did this with Caroline's horse, too. You know, if you work with less passage steps and less piaf steps, but more actually in the transition, the minute he piaps, think, am I able to passage now? The minute he piaps. Yeah. And the minute he passages, say to yourself, am I still in a piaf? Do I still have the connection of the piaf, the hind legs really under like a Russian dancer? And so each of those two things, because he's got a very big passage, yeah. and he's got, he can really elevate in piaf, but it's really about what is the connection between those two movements that bring one into the other and the other into the one, that's the key to the greatest success for you with this horse. So if you do, I, I have a, a, an exercise called four steps, four steps, meaning that I tell, I have my riders do four steps, no more of piaf, yep. into four steps, no more of passage, and they're constantly going back and forth, four steps, four steps, four steps, four steps, until the truth is only in the transition. The contact and the posture are exactly the same throughout. And the horse knows that the minute that it goes into the piaf, it's already going to go back to a passage. It knows likewise it's going to do the other. And so it constantly remains in that true trotting feeling in the connection that you would have in the biggest extended trot. And that's what makes it stay become, uh, become very simplistic.